Simpson in the house uh, for a new series of、uh, videos that、uh, I was chatting to Dave about and we thought would be fun,、mm-hmm. which is trying to emulate sort of guitar hero tones、uh, with affordable amps and guitars and affordable pedals.、Um, and as you may have already guessed, and perhaps the title of this video has given away today. We're going to try and, <laughs> yes, capture some sort of、uh, John Frusciante kind of tone.、Mm-hmm. What era are we going for, Mr. Dave?、Uh, I'm going to go for Californication era for this one. Like, well, that kind of era upwards, because Californication was basically when, when John came back, that、yeah. kind of set the kind of a precedent of his tone. It kind of evolved from there. And I always kind of feel, being a John nut, that the Californication tone was well, it's my favourite, but it kind of, if you can get that, you've kind of got it all. From there onwards, so you can go through to By the Way and then stay、yeah. in Arcade. And so, we're not、knows. necessarily going for that heavily compressed kind of blood, sex, sugar, magic, can't even say it kind of tone, <laughs> right? We're going that more slightly kind of break up y kind、yeah. of cool.、Yeah. So,、mm-hmm. Um, this series of videos that we're going to do together is going to be all really about the pedals. We're going to just mix and match different affordable guitars and amps in each video, but that's not really, you know. We, so we've got a little Orange Crush 35 here and one of the new Ibanez AZ ES guitars, largely just because I think the colour reminds me of that kind of f r u s c i a n t i strat kind of vibe.、Mm. And it's three single coils, which has he ever played anything other than a strat? Uh, yeah, I mean, early, early on, the early days, when he first joined the show, he was playing Ibanez RGs. Okay, he had, he really? Had a, he had a few, yeah. He had one that had, looked like it had a load of stickers on it, and he was given,、uh, Ibanez gave him some, which、uh, they、wow. said, don't break them. So he broke them on stage. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's, but it's been Fender Strap for as long as I can remember. On, yeah, yeah. Okay, and you've done a crazy thing. You know what I'm going to do? I don't, I don't think I've ever done this in a video before. Hopefully it'll be okay. I'm going to take a picture of this crazy, crazy <laughs> preamp setting that、uh, Dave has gone for. And maybe we'll flash that up on screen now.、Um, but as you can see, we're using the、uh, dirty channel, but with、mm. like no gain.、Yes. And all the EQ rolled all、Very、the way off. Very low down. Yeah. Why? Who?、Uh, How? It's, it's just the way I've always kind of set amps up. I've always kind of like found that going in really high on the mids. And the, I mean, I, I'm not a big treble fan. I never、mm-hmm. really ever use the treble on an amp unless I really have to. And I always found that, like,、uh, mainly because I like getting my tones through pedals.、Uh, because, again, being a kind of active gigging musician, sometimes your back line's supplied and you don't know what it is. It、mm-hmm. could be a Fender Twin, it could be a Marshall, it could be a Mesa Boogie. If, if your tone is in pedals, then you're sorted no matter what amp you plug into. So if your amp just is flat, clean, and your pedals sound good through that, no matter where you go, an amp is always going to do some kind of clean. But yeah, so that's enough about the amp and the guitar. Basically, if at home you've got anything with a half decent clean sound and a three single coil strata look alikey thingy,、mm-hmm. um, that's it. Pedals wise, what a selection we've got here. Talk me through why you, you know, what vibe you're going with here. So,、yeah. we've got a couple of wah wahs,、mm-hmm. a bunch of drive pedals, and all covering all kinds of things from fuzzes to tube screameries to distortions, whatever. We've got a booster, we've got a couple of chorus pedals, we've got a couple of delay pedals.、Mm-hmm. Um, what would be his first thing in the chain?、Uh, the first thing in the chain, well, again, I'm backwards. <laughs> so, I always go from the guitar. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't know which way around it's supposed to be. Well, guitar into what? Yeah, guitar, we'd go into guitar into fuzz. So, into that's where we're going to start.、So. Well, I got two fuzz pedals here.、Mm-hmm. We've got a bit, a nano big muff by Electro Harmonics and a Tone City Mickey pedal.、Um, you can find links to all these pedals below. Most of what I've got on the table here today is under £50. There's a f- couple of bits that might be sort of around about the £60, £70 pound mark. I don't think we've gone any dearer than that on anything.、Uh, so let's just, first and foremost, guess, get, let's, let's get these two plugged in、yep. and just see what kind of vibe it is. And,、cool. and you just choose your favourite one of these two. Okay, so, okay. We got two kind of fuzz pedals here. The Big Muff, everybody will know and love. It's a, it's a nano version of the original Electro Harmonics Big Muff. The Tone City Mickey is actually a rat clone.、Um, and rat, if you're familiar with, is a kind of like a fuzzy distortion. 
pedal. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of interested as to whether or not we go more traditional fuzz or do we go more sort of distorty, fuzzy kind of tone. Uh, but yeah, if you start playing with the Big Muff mm -hmm. and you tell me, you know, we can, we'll start with everything on sort of 12 o'clock. Yep. Normally the volume needs to be a little bit boosted on these and you tell yep. me what you want to do. Cool. So okay, here's you. our clean tone reference. Yep. It's got that classic, classic dark rolled off treble, you know, muff kind of tone. If I if I boost the the the, the gain and the tone a bit, it might brighten up a little bit. Cool. Very and then the Mickey, which is a slightly different kind of vibe, but again, everything roughly on twelve. I can back the tone down a little bit mm -hmm. if we want to make it a bit darker. Like the Mickey. You want the Mickey? Yep. Okay. Mickey, I, 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 love, I love what, a uh, little bit tongue in cheek this name, because obviously <laughs> it's a it's a rat clone. And uh, I think they're insinuating that uh, the most famous Mickey in the world yes. is a rat. When of course we all know he's really a mouse. Uh, that's our first pedal chosen. Uh, what happens next? Do we okay. do we wah or do we distortion? Nope. or we do go distortion now. Okay. Um, <laughs> We got this boost pedal here. Yes. Uh, where would that likely go? Uh, that's going to come later on. Okay. Yeah. So here are our four distortion pedals, and we've got one that I know all the Frusciante fans out there will be going, well done, because he's definitely uses that one. <laughs> and then three, which I'm not aware that uh, has he been a tube screamer guy? I mean, no, 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 not I know of. I mean, in he might have used one at some point, who knows, but invariably it's, it's, it's been the DS2 since he joined the Chili's. And then the Mojo Mojo and the Golden Plexi are kind of, you know, overdrivey distortion kind of pedals. So we'll just see where we go to with that. So let's let's start with that DS2. Let's uh -huh. just see. So does he use it in turbo mode? Or uh, yeah, mode two. Mode two, turbo mode. And level tone and distortion, roughly what, halfway or a bit uh, more? Well, I'd say uh, John normally kind of everything on 10. Would he? But uh, whether that works at this point in time, we will find out. Well, we should find out now. <laughs> okay, so here's nothing. I'm a bit nervous about going straight to 10 on the volume, <laughs> so we'll guile that in gradually. Sounds like a DS2. It <laughs> okay, so that's the kind of vibe of sound. Now, I definitely don't think we're going to get that from the Tube Screamer, but let's find out mm -hmm. uh, what we get. With it's more Steve Ray Vaughan. Way less gain. <laughs> yeah. I, quite like, I quite like it for the, um, it's kind of like a... There's a very John Fashanti solo album tone going on there. Right, the Mojo Mojo, let's see what we get with that. We've got two different choices of voice here. Let's okay. see what we get with that. It's very, overloading the, the, the bottom end. It's very, very uh, farty, for want yeah. of a sort of a better word. Now, I do have bass and treble controls on here, so I wonder mm. if, like, none of the bass and all of the treble kind of mm. help. It does not sound like that, does it? Uh, so, finally... 
Uh, Golden Plexi, mm -hmm. which uh, is a humongously popular pedal and has bucket loads of gain in it, so it Indeed. might do. Uh, let's try this. Okay. Still too kind oh. of classic uh, rocky. Okay, come on, let's just do the two. So. Yep. DS2 is the uh, yeah. I've got to say uh, the Golden Plex is my favourite sounding one of the four, but I bow to mm. your superior Frusciante <laughs> knowledge. If it's all about the DS2, it's all about the DS2, I guess. Let's just quickly, like you know, I'll I'll just do like five seconds, five seconds, five okay. seconds, so we can just go. Yeah. Here we go. So DS2 is what we're staying with. Yep. Okay. So, uh, wah next. Yes. I must admit, I'm kind of very unfamiliar <laughs> with this way of chaining pedals up. Yeah. So we've got two wah wahs here for 59 pounds each. Uh, one is uber famous Vox wah. Mm -hmm. This is the V845. Probably the that and the Dunlop. Uh, GCP95 mm. will be the two most popular ones. But then just for, you know, because there is another, you know, contender uh, in that price bracket, we've got the Electro Harmonics Whaler Wah. Um, so uh, I obviously want your opinion on, on both the sound and the yeah. sort of action of these two. Yeah. Uh, but here you go. Take that and that. Uh, mm. Definitely the Electro Harmonics feels a bit more plasticky, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? It feels like, um, but it's got, it feels like it's got a bigger sweep, which is, a, which is, oh, maybe not actually. But the, the Vox has those huge, massive rubber feet that are just kind of like over, over, over the engineered. Top. Well, there you are. Look, have a have a doodah, okay. and let's uh, plug one at a time and see how they sound. Yeah. <laughs> it's always easier to use a wire when you're standing up, isn't it? I think. In indeed, yeah. So. Whoa. I like it. It's very vocal. Mm. <laughs> It, it sounds like the Ibanez wah that John uses on its bass setting, which is very interesting actually. That's a quite. That's another one of those, like when you people talk about wah, mm. they talk about um, Dunlop and they talk about Vox and everything like that. But yeah, the, the Ibanez wah has been around for, you know, Ages, 20 yeah. years, maybe mm. more. In fact, yeah. I saw a great meme the other day, which posted and it said, it said 1980, tw you know, like how I perceive years. And it was like yeah. 1980, 20 years ago, 1990, <laughs> 10 years yeah. ago. Uh, like, uh, anyway, that's how yeah. I feel. Uh, but yes, mm. I think the Ibanez wire probably has been around since the 80s. Yeah, how is it? It was, um, it was an 80s thing. So right? show me how you're... So you're running the distortion pedals in front of the wire, mm -hmm. yes. which I think if you follow the, um, the general... Mm accepted place that a wah would go yeah the wah would be before the drive pedals mm, yeah so but that's not um it's not let's, let's, way, let's yeah. have a little it's okay so um, let's let layer some up then yeah so basically what it does is it turns turns a wah into a super wah so if you've got like distortion and it your wah does that as soon as you kick on a distortion uh and then stick on the wah it white noises and does this crazy Danny California John Shanty wah wah thing. So. So it just basically goes over the top. And how did that? What's the action like on that? Because it did. Um, it felt a little bit like um, it's quite very, a lot of friction. Yeah, it's, it's like it's got sand in it. It's it's <laughs> it's, it's real. It's not. It doesn't flow. Yeah. Like uh, the Vox on the the Vox is very giving. Like uh, on its on on the tread plate, it's very giving. This one because it's it feels like um, the thing that goes up and down the wall, the cog thing, whatever it is, it's very stiff. Yeah, the pot's stiff. Isn't yeah. It? It's well, like, let's oh! switch it out for the box one okay. and see if it sounds any better. Or okay, so. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,
That's that's nice. I prefer that one. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, isn't it? I thought the electronics might have had a little bit more bass end on mm, it, but if you're preferring is. the Vox, it's a bit more we're in staying that with the Vox. John, this is kind of like the Ibanez wire on the bass mode that yeah. John uses very rarely, and that's like the Ibanez in the normal guitar mode. So it's kind of like a, a, it's like a toss up between the two. Like, ah! Panic not. Okay. Indeed. Cool though. I so like those that. three pedals are the three pedals that you're saying. Um, you want on the floor, right? And uh, yep. every everything else now comes after the wire, so Indeed, we can yeah. kind of just have these up. Here. Although, actually, I don't know. Let's no, I I I, I take it back. We're going to try them up here, yep. and then the final one makes it down onto the floor. So that's cool. fine. Okay, so now we're going to do chorus, or uh, are we doing boost? We'll go boost now, so we can get the the box a bit closer to the Ibanez. All right. Well, actually, you know what? Be. Then boost wise, seeing as we only have one choice of boost, which wasn't because there aren't any other cheap boosts. I think it was just purely and simply I ran out of hands to carry it all back from the store. <laughs> uh, why don't you just basically Give add the boost in and mm -hmm. show us uh, why you would use that? So tell me again, the purpose of having a, a boost going into the wire? Uh, it's just to basically make it a bit more Ibanez wire because the Ibanez wire has got a preamp built into it. Right. So when, when he kicks on that thing, it's, wow, it jumps out. So, you know what I used to sit there? There's a cool, and I can't remember what the product is, but there's a cool wah plate thing oh, yeah. with an effects loop in it mm, yeah. that actually as you then put your foot on the wah it engages the effects mm. loop as well so you yeah. could essentially kind of do that whole mm, yeah. turn the preamp on otherwise you're, you are tap dancing slightly aren't you to turn the boost and the wah wah on at the yes, same time exactly yeah and uh, this might go loud because i have a secret weapon idea in a minute that's oh, working yeah, because so that'll go from just kind of to uh, probably a bit less. Yeah. And what works. about with the, just because we haven't heard it yet, what about with the Mickey yes. instead of the uh, the DS2? So that should be quite cool. Uh, <laughs> put, put. I like Wicked. I don't really <laughs> like the DS2 tone. No. But I get that it that is the tone. Indeed. There is it's like there's yeah. also something we're gonna well, maybe do in a minute that might just uh make this sound even a bit bit smoother because there's some sharp edges to it at this point in time that we can probably even out. So are we chorusing now? Uh no, not no, quite. Oh, okay. We're gonna use a uh, uh, tube screamer mini or golden plexi. What? <laughs> hey, <laughs> back from the reject pile, Indeed. back from the dead. Um so uh, basically, oh. this is going to go on this side. Okay. Things. Well, look, I'm going to need another guitar cable then. So get so. your tone that you want, and then we'll dump these in over and okay. above it. So now, uh, the idea of these ones, this is kind of like the on all time pedal. Ah. So this is the one that's going to give us a bit more John shaping. Got it. So will. what we're really trying to use this for then it is to actually make it sound like an amp that's yes. slightly broken up. So yeah, okay, let's indeed. start with the golden plexi with the gain about as low as it'll go. Uh, can you turn the tone down to about maybe nine o'clock-ish? Yeah. Is it that? No, it, 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 and it'll smooth out the distortion. Okay, as and well. let's try the the uh, tube screamer. I think the golden plexi's kind of got it. Uh, it the, the, the tube screamer's doing that bass roll-off thing, which yeah. I almost feel 
isn't the right pedal to try to make an amp sound like a broken yeah. up. Yeah, and so I, I kind of I thought because the tube screamer's got the kind of like the, the mid hump as well mm. into an already mid rangey amp, mid rangey pedals. It's just going to be mids on mids on mids on mids. Let's get a mid range. So we're going golden plexi with the gain. Mm -hmm. It's I don't think you can use the gain all the way off on these. Otherwise, uh, no. sometimes there's no volume at all. But it's like it's that first like yeah. you know two or three millimeters mm -hmm. passed off. So you yeah. want that? Yep, that's okay. going in there. Okay. I realise what is also going to happen happen here. <laughs> I'm yes. sorry, is uh, Dave and I are going to have to swap power supplies <laughs> as uh, all of a sudden uh, I'm running out. Yes. Uh, I should say today for this video, we are using um, the Fender Engine Room power supplies. If you are going to chain up five or six uh, pedals together and you need to run them on power supplies rather than batteries, uh, that's where your sort of decent quality isolated mm. ones will help reduce all of that kind of um, unwanted yeah. electrical hum. Uh, so the Fender ones are very, very good. Uh, there's lots, again, dive on over to the Anderson's website, have a look. You can find lots of multi-pedal thingies there if you want power supply things. So what's next, Mr. Simpson? Okay, so we'll go for chorus next. Okay, right, TC Corona Mini, um, which as the name suggests, there is a bigger version of this by TC, but that's a bit more expensive as well. Or the Angel Wing, one of the biggest selling Tone City pedals of all time. Really nice sounding, always does well in sort of chorus pedal shootouts. Okay, so okay. what's your basic tone and then tell me what you want. So where are we? So that's basically- That's Ooh, so close. Yeah. Dude, that's made the biggest them. difference of all the pedals. Yeah. Not the biggest, but like yeah. just to the basic niceness of the yeah. amp tone. And okay. it'll make the distortions a lot nicer. So. Right. So let's. It doesn't really matter which one we yeah. start with. So here's, a, here's the uh, TC. Mm. And here is the. Uh, Familiar yeah. chorus it sound. Is, yeah. I don't know what it is with the Corona. It's not very chorus, is it? It's more doubly. Maybe it's I can, if I turn the effects level right up and mm. see if we can. Kind of there. It's kind of Alex Lysony. <laughs> Wrong tone, but <laughs> close. <laughs> when John Frusciante plays Police Numbers, Indeed, is that what yeah, we were yeah. going for? There was it. It's a tribute band. Frusciante plays Police. I like that. <laughs> Drum on uh, Yeah, that's the that's the one. Yeah. That that was a relatively quick. Can I just yeah. hear it without so it's without a, the chorus? Yeah, just uh, a, so. totally clean. Okay. Good chord. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now I always tend to set my chorus pedals with the sort of depth slightly above mm -hmm. midway and the rate slightly backed off so you get yeah. that slightly lusher slower thing yeah is that a frusciante thing or would he go um, with a slightly faster warbly kind it of it kind of varies he, he kind of messes with it uh, i would say that's kind of like getting into kind of like can't stop kind of territory there right but, uh, i'd probably about 12 o'clock ish i would say okay probably about right Yeah, about there. Quarter to 11. All yeah, right, okay, cool. Here we go. One angel wing coming inbound to your uh, Frusciante rig. Lastly, we're going to try and find a delay. Now, you were very specific yes. about wanting a digital delay and Indeed. not an analog delay. Mm. Why is that? Uh, John's basically, like, when John uses delay, is it's literally just that clean basic repeat. There's no kind of like that analog darker kind of tonality okay. or modulation. It's just straight delay and digital's always kind of done the job for that so so something like a what is he like a boss dd3 kind of guy is uh it? he's got the uh dl the dl4 the, the oh, green has he? Panel, the, the line six one yeah and he also has a digitech as well uh so he, you know he has plenty of delay i think he's got like Fine. three on his board so we've gone with the tc flashback mini tc flashback humongously popular mm -hmm. selling pedal uh and that's i think the dearest pedal we've got here today uh that's 79 pounds so in the interest of just trying to keep yeah. something else a bit cheaper as well we got the moor repeater which is more like 50 quid um the digital pedals always tend to be the dear ones just because mm. i guess that dsp technology is a bit more expensive so um 
let's get you an idea of the sort of delay that you repeat that you want. That's pretty close to his kind of like his, what I would say his solo delay is. Okay. That's, that's pretty much Bob on. Actually, right. To be honest with you. So what they're obviously on a delay pedal, if you're not sure, you've got normally got a control that um, lets you decide, you know, how long you want between each repeat. And then you've got a control for how many repeats you actually have. And then you have a control for how loud you want those repeats to be. So on the repeater here, I've got the, the time about halfway up and I've backed the volume and the uh, number of repeats down a little bit. Uh, let's see where we need to put the, feet, the flashback to get something similar. It's got a bit of a brighter uh, repeat the, that, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think the flashback is the flashback is the truer repeat. The, yeah. the repeater sounds like it's adding it brightness does. to yeah, it definitely. rather than yeah. capturing. Mm. Um, so, well, let's just, so here we go. That's definitely adding brightness. Though, yeah, it almost yeah. sounds like it's adding modulation, even though there is mm. a mode for a modulated delay, which I'm mm. not using, but it almost sounds like it is yeah, anyway. Yeah, so it's a little kind of... Yeah. It is, it definitely is. Yeah. So flashback. we think the flashback oh, is the job, one. Yeah. Well, Mr. Dave, we mm. have finished. We've completed your um, board of doom. Indeed. So all that is left now is for you to play us out with basically a repertoire of <laughs> some sort of mashup of uh, Frusciante sounds. Okay. Uh, ideally using all the pedals at some of the time. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, thank you very much for watching everybody. Uh, Dave, I'm hoping will come back and join us every couple of weeks or so for another episode of this. Uh, so if you have other artists that you're particularly mm -hmm. interested in, uh, I know today we're gonna try and do a couple of other ones, Slash mm -hmm. and, and um, Kirk Hammett and stuff. But if mm -hmm. you've got other artists that you'd like Dave to sort of research up and do this again, please Dave. comment below. Um, links are said to all the pedals there. Uh, we'll put a link to Dave's YouTube channel as well, where you can go and find out about his band and what he's doing and stuff. Yes. Uh, but yes, uh, please, Mr. Okay. D, take it away. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you one more power thing, me. Ah, the, uh... sorry, I apologise. Yeah.